Hi everybody, my name is Bob and Shaw and I'm the CEO of MoveWorks. And I'm really excited to speak to you today to talk about hybrid work. This is a term we've all heard many, many times over the past 18 months. And frankly, there isn't a lot of information around how to actually deliver on that promise and how to ensure that your employees are getting the best support they can get. I've spent the last 18 months working with some of the most forward-looking companies on the planet and I'm here today to share some of those insights with you. Now, back in 2016, when I founded this company with three other of my co-founders, we discovered that support was generally a very slow phenomenon. On average, it would take three days to resolve an IT issue. And this is despite spending lots of money on better ticketing systems and better automation workflow systems. Employees simply were still waiting for an agent on the other end to read their issue, understand it, and then respond back. We discovered that using advanced forms of AI, NLP, and conversational techniques, we could actually use machines to understand what employees need instantly and then take action on those things instantly as well. Today, I'm gonna to speak about six different organizations and how they've each created a unique hybrid work environment using AI. And by the end of this, you're gonna learn some of the secrets and the techniques that they've used that you can apply in your organization. It's no surprise that people like having options. In fact, recently, Forbes ran a study where 97% of employees said that they actually preferred hybrid work. But yet Gallup ran a study with those same employees and found that they were more anxious and less comfortable working in this new environment. So what are companies getting wrong? They want their employees to be healthy and happy and productive, but yet they're taking these old tools and technologies and putting band-aids on them to work in these new collaborative environments. I had a chance to sit down with over 100 executives over the last 18 months to understand some of the key obstacles that they've faced in terms of providing and mastering this new world of hybrid work. And I'd like to share a few of those with you now. So first off, when employees need help right this second, filling out a support ticket simply isn't fast enough. And this is especially true for hybrid workers who rely on digital tools to get all of their work done. And unless you've got a giant global help desk, the conventional approach to support is even worse for employees in other countries and time zones. It's incredibly tough to provide 24 by 7 support around the world. Plus, having a distributed workforce creates its own new problems. Tribal knowledge goes away, and when you lose the wisdom of the crowd, well, issues arise that normally could have been avoided. Now, perhaps the biggest challenge is change management. Companies are constantly changing these days, and yet most employees aren't informed, since people rarely read through those mass emails we send. And when employees do eventually return to the office, we're seeing a lot of confusion. Without help, they're totally lost. Some companies have tried improving support with automation only to find that building and maintaining automated workflows is a massive undertaking that rarely stands the test of time. Let's start with the biggest one. Resolving support issues manually is simply too slow. We've analyzed over a quarter billion issues here at MoveWorks and discovered that on average, it takes three days to resolve a typical IT support issue. Now, these are very routine matters. Uh, looking for access to PowerPoint or maybe uh, finding some information about a policy. Now, support teams have known this for some time and so they've built forms and articles and other resources to help employees self-serve. But the problem is this, employees don't know where to go. They don't know that the answer to their travel policy question is on page 61 of the policy document. They don't know that to get access to a certain application, they need to fill out a special form to do so. Our customer DocuSign recognized that self-service would only be possible in Slack where its employees were already spending a vast majority of their time. The challenge became providing resources like forms and knowledge articles through Slack conversations automatically. This is DocuSign's solution, Hero. Hero is a conversational AI chatbot that's powered by MoveWorks that lives inside of Slack. Behind the scenes, Hero resolves issues by integrating with DocuSign's entire tech stack. 
It understands the language employees use to describe support issues, and this lets Hero trigger the right action or provide the right resource directly in Slack thanks to these deep integrations. What's particularly great is DocuSign employees don't need to go to the bot to start a conversation. The bot intercepts emails and tickets sent to the help desk, as well as system alerts like employees getting locked out of an account. Hero then messages the employee in Slack, and once it is solved, this creates a new habit for the employee. This centralized digital channel has made support dramatically faster for hybrid employees. Issues get fixed in seconds rather than days. But it also allows employees to take advantage of forms, FAQs, and other resources that they weren't aware of before. Now the next thing is, support is even more of a challenge when employees are distributed across the globe in different countries and different time zones. And it's rare for a help desk team, support team, to be able to provide high quality support 24 by 7. And in fact, you know, employees aren't really based anywhere anymore, they're based everywhere. And one of our customers, Equinix, had this very same issue to support 11,000 employees and contractors across 26 countries. They had to find a new way, a more efficient way to provide hybrid help for all of their employees in this new world. As Equinix continued to grow, its CIO realized he couldn't just keep hiring more help desk agents to meet the demand. He needed a completely new strategy. That's when he turned to eBot. Since deploying eBot in April 2019, Equinix has managed to keep headcount flat on their IT team, even as the company has expanded greatly. eBot is a unique conversational AI system. It gives every single employee at Equinix personalized support based on their location, department, seniority, time zone, and conversational history. So for example, when an employee in Toronto needs information about their healthcare coverage, eBot serves up a different response than it would to an employee in their Mountain View, California office. Under the hood, eBot uses deep learning to perform millions of instant calculations every time an employee submits an issue. It considers not only who the employee is, but all of the resources available at Equinix that could potentially solve the issue. This has made a huge impact for Equinix employees around the world. eBot is solving thousands of issues completely autonomously, end to end, every month, and for those issues that require an expert, eBot is routing it to the right expert with a 96% precision. But another challenge of having so many employees in different locations and different offices is losing the tribal knowledge of getting help and figuring things out. When you can't tap on someone's shoulder, a small issue turns into a very big issue. At Unity, employees have embraced Slack as their collaboration tool of choice. And the company's IT support Slack channel allows them to crowdsource their questions and learn from others that ran into the same problem. But solving issues in this setting isn't easy for service desk agents to supervise. They have to read through every comment and through every issue to decide what needs their attention. That's why Unity deployed Ninja Unicorn. It's MoveWorks bot in the IT support Slack channel. Ninja Unicorn analyzes each employee's questions and jumps in when confident it can help. When employees rate the answers as useful, the bot then shares that answer with the group, which prevents future tickets in advance. In this way, Unity provides the benefits of crowdsourcing support without the added work for the service desk. Managing change is a huge challenge for organizations right now. It can be hard and difficult to communicate with all employees at once. Vituity rolled out their conversational AI bot, Auto, right as COVID began. One of the primary challenges was communicating change from afar and keeping the entire organization on the same page. Most companies use mass emails to communicate, but the problem is mass emails are often irrelevant and get lost in the inbox. Vituity uses auto to send personalized messages over Teams 
so people actually read them. There are several advantages. First, Teams is a private channel, unlike email, which is a public square and highly noisy. Second, auto allows for personalized messages, so people actually read them. Mass emails are often irrelevant, and people tend to ignore them. Auto's messages are actionable, so it's easy for employees to complete requests by clicking a button or filling out a form right there in chat. And because Auto has ingested every knowledge article, form, and resource at the company, it makes communications interactive. Vituity isn't just sending a static message, it's sending an expert who is familiar with every resource, form, knowledge article that the company has. And finally, Auto can track engagement with comms and target employees who haven't taken action with follow-up reminders. When employees return to the office, they have hundreds of questions, like what's a new hybrid policy, where's that big conference room, and where do I order a new keyboard? And this is a critical moment for businesses because if you don't provide that support quickly, well, employees are gonna feel lost. At Verisk, one of the world's largest analytical firms. Many employees were returning to the office for the first time because they were recently hired during COVID. Its CIO wanted to ensure they immediately felt comfortable in the new environment. Veris used its bot Vic to make the transition much smoother. Vic helped in three distinct ways. For planning the transition, Vic helped employees fill out forms, understand new changes to the policy, and answer questions that they had. Returning to the office, well, Vic allowed employees to order laptops and keyboards, get instructions on connecting to the Wi-Fi and the printer, reserving a desk, and gave them conference room maps and contact information just by asking these questions in plain English. And adjusting to the new normal, well, Vic handles that every day. Ongoing changes in policies and updates are communicated by Vic to all the employees. For all these reasons, companies know they need automation. For Procore, their decision was whether to build an in-house automation tool with a bot toolkit or to use a vendor. They ended up deploying Bolt, which is their MoveWorks bot. Bolt started working right out of the box since it arrived at Procore already speaking the language of support. Thanks to self-learning, it keeps getting smarter over time, not just by use from the Procore employees, but by collectively being used across all of our customers. We don't have years to get hybrid work right, and employees are definitely not gonna wait around for their employer to design, build, and maintain a solution. Over the last 18 months, we've seen many companies spin up a bot really fast hoping for results, only to find them not very compelling. Companies around the world are making massive investments in hybrid work. To truly master it, you have to use new techniques, like conversational AI. Companies like DocuSign, Equinix, Unity, Vituity, Procore, Verisk are all examples of companies that are using conversational AI to support their employees no matter where they are in the world. I want to thank you for your time and for listening today.